so it is a million degrees here in Portland. So I decided to do some vintage shopping because the antique malls are usually air conditioned. So why be outside when I can be inside looking for treasure? So I can't wait to see what I find. I'm also gonna be picking up something I bought from Laura Caldwell. So I'm really excited uh, to grab that too. Can't wait to show you guys. Hillsboro, Oregon, which I have never done any thrifting here. So it's my first time for this antique mall, which I have been told is awesome. So I can't wait to see what I find. I already feel so much cooler. Oh, the walk here nearly killed us. So this little vase caught my eye. I love the little pops of green. Very, very cute. It's unmarked. That says it is $9.95. Just a pink with green pot. <laughs> I love when that's just the description, but super cute. This is the cutest little owl embroidery. Oh my goodness. Six bucks. Oh, if only I had the time to make a pillow. It's so cute. So my mom just pointed out these dishes, which we used to have, which is so funny. I'm starting to see like my childhood dishes and the thrift stores and antique malls. So this basket is in the same style as one of the very first things I sold on my Etsy shop. And I have literally yet to have found another one in this style and it's been a year. So it's 22 and we have to have them get the key and get it out for me. So you guys know me and my Native American pottery and yeah, this piece 16, really beautiful. I don't know, I may have to get it. I have never seen like a bud vase like this before. Typically they look like this one, um, which is also really, really pretty. So I can see how much this guy is. Twenty-two, which is usually in my price range to pick these up because they can be listed for more. But yeah, I'm not sure I like the colors on this one. So something about this painting I just find so pretty, even though that's a lot of flowers, <laughs> a lot of flowers. Um, but yeah, 55 is behind glass. So it's kind of hard to tell that it's actually painted because the strokes and stuff that you'd normally be able to like feel and stuff are, are harder to see behind the glass. But yeah, I thought this was beautiful. Oh, that's so cute. And yeah, this is really cute. I love that. Trinket, well, I love a trinket box. So you guys know, love this booth. It is so, so good. Everything I like. That is really pretty. Ooh, I like this. Oh, okay, and mom likes that. Oh, that is lovely. Oh, I love that. That's something you should Oh my have. gosh, I feel like I need to have that in my gallery wall. Although that's, I have that's too many wonderful. things. It's beautiful. So I just realized that this booth that I am admiring is in fact my friend Ashley. I will put her um, information on the screen because you can follow her on Instagram. Um, but yeah, she has always great stuff and I bought from her before and I have never come up to see her booth in Hillsboro. Um, and so yeah, I already see some stuff I like. I may have to get that one. Oh, which, <laughs> like what? Up? Okay, apparently I can't do directions when it's behind me. Anyways, um, a really pretty embroidery and then a bamboo stool, which I'll show you guys how to make it because I always um, pick those up when I see them because they always sell well for me. So yeah, a lot of really great stuff. And she has a mushroom wallpaper, which is, well, I love mushrooms, they're so cute. So I am probably gonna grab this. So I think I'm gonna get this guy because I always sell these. Because people love this type of bamboo and this type of height is great for a plant um, and just to elevate stuff on a surface. So I'll probably be getting this. So Ashley, I'm gonna buy some stuff from your booth. So my mom just found this painting for me because you know me and florals, <laughs> can't turn them down. So this one's 26, ooh, it is really good. Ooh, and this is so good. That at 70, so a little bit outside my price range for what I would do for resale. But this one, there's some room. It's just so moody. It's oh really man, good. this place is dangerous. But yeah, this is pretty. Yeah, so bye Holly. Thank you, Holly. Oh my gosh, it's a little snail. Oh no, I love it more now. It's so cute. So more pieces of art. So this one is 14. I just kind of really liked the colors. And then my mom spotted this one too. This one's 12. So small art like this is doing well for me. 
So, um, especially original. So I may have to grab this one and this one too. Gosh, it seems like a day of wall art. I think I have three or four things up at the front. So you guys know I love vintage jewelry. So I just got these the other day when I was out thrifting at the coast, but what do you think of this necklace? Definitely just have to like embrace the tarnish, but it's like leaves, super cool. So I don't know, I have to pick this up too. These are really pretty. These brass cups, although so much of this decorative brass is not food safe, so I'm never sure if like you can actually drink out of these. Um, but uh, as planters, like how cute would that be with like a succulent in it? So yeah, brass definitely for plants, but yeah, always have to be careful when you are thinking about using it for food and entertaining. So I obviously am not a huge lover of guns, but eight bucks for this one. I don't know if I can get it. Okay, I won't be able to get it off on camera, but I think I may have to grab it because another reseller I know had one and she sold it. So I grabbed the gun. I bought for $8, but my mom's like, I don't approve. So mama doesn't approve, but <laughs> I may have to get anyways because I'm an adult woman. I make my own decisions. <laughs> so this I thought was really cute and the frame is so good. This not as much. <laughs> This little child kind of scares me a little, but this one looks pretty cute. Um, so I looked it up on Google Lens and it's definitely a print. So it's not like original artwork in the traditional sense. It's definitely a print frame, but it's nicely framed. I just really like the, the frame on it. So six bucks, I'm tempted just to get it for the frame. So, you know, I love small stuff in this, of course. So, so cute. So I have a white, um, cloisonne vase like this that I just love but this one is so cute too I don't know I don't need another collection but it's so tempting to start a mini vase one so these are so cute tonala pottery oh this one's a little warm I think it adds to like kind of the charm this one is a piggy bank these are so cute I can't not just go ooh and ah over them every time I see them they just are so special so apparently I'm liking everything that is bordering on antique <laughs> today. Um, but this is beautiful. Look at the pink and the gold. What a stunning clock. I'm usually not a clock person, but this one is really pretty. So not super exciting, but I do sell these every time I list them. Now I have a ton right now in my shop because I found a bunch, but it's eight bucks and it's a really long one. So I may have to bring that home. So I've been really into all of those like influencers that are turning old quilts into jackets and dresses and stuff. And usually I don't find a quilt I like to do that, but this one's so good with the blue and the black stripe. I love it. It's $125. So yeah, I don't know how to sew really. <laughs> so it seems like a little bit of a risky move to buy a beautiful and nice textile only to destroy it. Um, and yeah, $125 down the drain. So won't be getting it, but this is probably the closest I have found to a quilt that I think would be an amazing jacket. So another find that my mom spotted is this beautiful wicker stool. Okay, so here is my new friend that I just got from Laura to add to my collection. So you guys know, I'm obsessed. So this one is so cute and he's on a stick. So yep, I'm putting this guy in my car and then I'm gonna go head back in over there because I've never been to that mall. Apparently I'm in my small art phase because I found another one. This one's six bucks, so I think I'm gonna have to get it. So mama, what do you think? What? Oh, that's cute. Isn't that cute? So yeah, small art for the win again. These are really pretty. I love this. I love the black and the color contrast. Those are so pretty. I have a lot of like trays that are wooden and painted um, that I collect. And so this kind of has that vibe, but it's like, I assume it's actually enamelware, but yeah, super pretty. Now this is a lamp. Wow. Look at all these jewels. That would be a statement. Definitely not for my house, but very cool. Okay, so these mama baby statues seem to be slowing down, but this is the cutest one I've seen. Look at it. It's just like the baby, like boop. Super cute. So 
One of my very favorite gifts for my wedding was a uh, camel saddle. And my mom's friends, they had asked my mom what I would want for a wedding present. And my mom's just like, she absolutely would want an antique camel saddle stand. <laughs> so, yep. So mine is um, like has some red tones and some engravings and stuff in the leather. But yeah, this is, I've never seen this blue before. It's really pretty. And then the light base. Gosh. I needed one, which I don't because I already have one, and I feel like you only need one in your life, but this is really, really cute. It's okay, really so pretty. this is another thing that would make an awesome jacket. This is cheaper, 45 But like my mom said, you'd hate to cut it up because it's so pretty. So I got excited thinking that I was going to be able to edit my collection, and it's just the one. So uh, yeah, I'll be passing, but she looks really scared, doesn't she? She looks a little shifty. My mom agreed that Russian nesting doll, bless her, looked like she was ready to cry. <laughs> so, won't be adding her to my collection. Oh, hair's up now. It's so hot in here. No air, but that will not deter me from shopping. Okay, so I like everything about this booth space in here. Even these creepy people. We got a lot of great stuff. Very much a vibe. Oh, I always love these. I may have to get them. Roadrunner sell well for me. Okay, so now I'm debating this painting 28 framed good colors. Because sometimes seascapes are mm, not so great, but I picked up so much art today. I don't know. I may have to think about it. And then I also, of course, like this beautiful pink quilt, but it is 85, so I feel like I need to keep moving on and not cut up something that expensive. Okay, so we're back home. I can't wait to show you all the things that I got. Now, the reason I went to Hillsboro to do some thrifting was to pick up this cutie pie. So if you watch Laura's channel, you will have seen this. As soon as I saw it in her haul, I was like, that has to be mine. So she said it's gonna be available on her first Friday sale. So I was like, oh, so I was lucky enough to get it. Yay, so this will be part of my collection. So I have a whole, if you guys watch my channel, you know, I am obsessed with these. It's one of my main things I collect are wicker animals. This is like my second owl um, that I have, but the other one is very simple. So I'll show you what that looks like on the screen. But yeah, I was so excited to add this to the collection because it's very, very ornate. Um, some of them can be very simple and others can be really ornate like this. So I was really excited about this one because it looks so much different than my other owl. I mean, look at that cute face and then the tail feathers and it's on its own stand. So. Yeah, a very, very cool piece, and I can't wait to add it to my collection. So the two antique malls that I went to in Hillsborough were Lace Stuff and Snyder's. Both were amazing. Pricing was good. Selection was good. I got stuff from both of them. The vendors had very curated booths, which I always appreciate because they're doing the work for you. So yeah, I can't wait to show you all the pieces that I got. Now, I think two of them I'm planning to keep myself, and then the rest are going to be available for you guys, which I know is rare. I always want to keep everything I get, but I will link down below all the stuff that will be available at my Etsy shop. Okay, so let's start off with the stuff from Lace Stuff Antique Mall. So I actually realized when I was shopping there that my friend has a booth space there. So I went into the store and I was like, oh, everything looks so good. And then I like zeroed in on this one booth and I'm like, that has to be my friend's booth. And it was. So Ashley, I will link her information on the screen. You should give her a follow. But this is the first thing that I picked up and put aside was this amazing vintage cruel embroidery. I never really know the difference. So maybe if someone who knows the difference can let me know. Um, but I thought it was stunning. So it's of two women in this beautiful countryside. Very romantic. The matting is good. The framing is good. The compos The subject matter is good. It's just good all around. So this is one of those things I will not actually be listing because it'll be for me because I'm planning to do a gallery wall like refresh because you guys know if you watch me I have so many things that I want to add that I'm just like you know what this stuff is old news I have new stuff I want to put up and I think this is one of those pieces that's going to go in the wall so I'm sorry this will not be available so the other thing that I got from her booth which I could have bought all of the things but I have to be good is this bamboo stand so this will be available in my Etsy shop these stands are amazing when you can style them on a surface because it just elevates a plan, elevates a sculpture. It's just another surface. So that way 
when you're decorating, not everything is at the same level. You have some variations in height. So these are really hero pieces. So anytime I see small stools like this, whether they're bamboo or not, tend to pick them up and they sell well for me in my Etsy shop, especially this type of bamboo, which has the burnt looking marks. They kind of call it tortoise shell bamboo. So it's a little bit different than the bamboo you kind of see in a lot of boho. Um, this definitely has an extra darkened character to it. So yeah, so these sell well for me and yeah, I don't always find them, but when I do, I always pick them up and this will be available in my Etsy shop. So I think I'm in my small art era because I seem to be picking up lots of small paintings lately. And you know what? That is one of the standout things that sold when I did the um, Rose City Vintage Market, Left Coast Flea a few months ago. Um, yeah, that was one of the standout things that sold really well all of my small art. So I'm just like, you know what? I'm just keep picking it up because people need smaller pieces to kind of fill up the gallery walls. So I thought this piece was very cool. It has like a retro color palette to me. It is artist sign. I thought it was very, very cool. It was really, re honestly, it was like 12 bucks, maybe even eight bucks. Totally forgot to look at the pricing, but just know like most of the art was like, I think 20 and under and, oh, I think I remember the tray. Okay, so when I show you the rest of it, I think I can remember what I paid, but yeah, I think this was like um, less than 10 bucks. So I thought the subject matter was really cool. It's a really good size and like on a kitchen shelf, I mean, it would look phenomenal. It's very, very cool. And another piece of art that I got from that same vendor <laughs> was this piece too. So it's a floral, with a teapot. This one is painted on board. Um, this was actually really reasonably priced too. So these types of pieces like really look great in a kitchen, especially for everyone who's doing obviously like country farmhouse decor, but there's a lot of people that are really into like Americana cabin and then also like the young Victorian type vibes, the cottage core vibes. They really like this like old world looking art. And so this is why this stuff is selling, especially florals right now. So anytime I see art, original art, that's very inexpensive, I always tend to pick it up. And those two pieces will be available in my Etsy shop. Okay. So like I said, there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of art. So, okay. Next piece of art that I'm going to show you is another floral and it is the stunning moody floral. I mean, look at the colors. They are so, so moody. And the best part about this is it has, see if it can, there we go, has a teeny tiny snail. I mean, I just absolutely fell in love. So this is artist sign too. I just thought it was stunning. If I decorated with dark tones, I would be totally keeping it. So lucky for you guys, it'd be like a black hole in my gallery wall and white wall. So anyone who has a very like moody, um, interesting type of home, this is like, so good, so, so good. I kind of feel like it even would lend itself to that dark academia trend because it has that deep, dark vibe. So yeah, this is a little bit more, I think that I paid 26 for this. So this is definitely up, but I think because it is so unusual with the dark tones, I can definitely like, there's margin in it. Um, and so I think that I can still make a profit off of it, but yeah, that was so stunning and will be available in my Etsy shop. So, you know, I love brass and the next two pieces are brass. So I got, <laughs> <laughs> I got this. So, uh, yeah, it is a brass old timey gun. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. I'm not a, you're not a person that loves guns by any stretch of the imagination, but I thought it was kind of an interesting piece. Nonetheless, another reseller I know she has sold like brass guns like this and they always sell fast. Um, so I was like, okay, I guess I'll give it a go. It's not a real, um, but yeah, I thought it was kind of cool. It's very old very old and yeah, I just thought it was interesting. This is the first one I've ever come across. I don't know, I don't even like to handle it, ah! But anyways, thought it was kind of a cool piece. Um, and so yeah, this will be available <laughs> in my Etsy shop. Shh, don't tell my mom, no, she was there with me. She was laughing, um, but yeah. So this is like kind of like a weird pickup for me, um, but I just like, okay, I'll just give it a try. Okay, so another brass piece that I picked up was this amazing necklace. Now you will have seen this on the screen, but it has this beautiful leaf-like detail and they're kind of cut out and at an angle too. I thought it was really pretty. I'm really into vintage jewelry right now just because I love to accessorize, like love to accessorize. Actually, I just got these recently. I went out, it was out thrifting. So um, yeah, my mom was like, eh, I don't know about it. And then when I put it on, she's like, oh yeah, I can see it. So it was only 15 bucks. So I figured, mm, you know, bring it home with me. 
Um, but yeah, this was kind of a fun, unexpected find, and this is just for me. So that's the other thing in this haul that's just for me, so sorry. Um, but I will, if you guys like jewelry, and you want me to start looking for jewelry for you guys, let me know. I just tend to buy it for myself. But if you think it's something that you'd like to see in my shop, definitely comment below. Okay, so the last item that I got from Lay Stuff is this very cool woven stool. And these stools, like all the stools that I pick up, are great for styling. Usually I'm not perching on them or using them like ever. Um, these are just really make great plant stands. This type of piece looks good underneath a console table. Um, I mean, they're very, very versatile. And that's what usually people are using them for as a decorative moment, not as an actual like utility <laughs> to sit on. Um, and this one, my mom remember like from her childhood. So it's definitely old, but it's a very good shape and i just love like this honey toned wood so yeah this will be available at my shop and oh, it's gonna be hard because oh i really like it too i know here i go i'm just like oh i want to keep it but i won't this will be available for you guys okay so the last brass pieces i have to show you are these amazing road runners so birds are birds when it comes to brass are hit or miss some sell really well and others don't sell as well and so these road runners are definitely among the style that sell really well. They have always sold, every time I've listed a Roadrunner when I've come across it, which is not that often, they sell well for me. So this was 19 for the pair, which I thought was great because per bird, that ends up being enough margin for me to sell them. I thought they were super cute. They're both a little bit different. This one has this tail up. This one is like a little bit longer, like in mid run. So yeah, I can't wait to get these listed. These will be available in my Etsy shop and oh, they're just so cute. And I couldn't believe that there was a pair of them, which is amazing. It was so silly. I told you it was the last brass piece and there's another brass piece, which is this big, huge tray. So like the biggest brass piece. So brass trays like this that are painted have always sold well for me. So these are from India. They have very ornate details and look at the way the edges are. If you can see that they're kind of like, I know I'm like, peeking around like a weirdo. <laughs> I'm just trying to see on my camera. But um, yeah, it has the very cool scalloped edges, a lot of detail. Now in the center, there is some tarnish. You can tell that someone probably had a plant or something in the center of it, which I didn't think was a big deal. This was, I think 20 bucks. Um, but trays like this size sell for like $100 or more. Um, even if it has a little bit of patina like that, especially since most people who are buying this tray are going to be placing things on top of it likely covering up the mess in the middle. So that's why I thought, you know what? I think it still um, has life in it, even though it has some tarnish because I have sold many a trays with tarnish. I think that patina is what people really like. So yeah, that will be available in my Etsy shop. Okay, so the last thing that I picked up and I'm looking around because I always forget stuff. So the last thing I picked up um, at Snyder's and on that day thrifting was this little adorable um, original painting. So like I said, I'm in my small art phase. So I thought this was the most super cute framing again, really good subject matter is cute. It's flowers in a little box artist sign in the bottom. And I think it's 19. Yeah. 75. So yeah, definitely, definitely vintage. This super cute would look good anywhere. Gallery wall propped on a shelf. You name it, it's just one of those cute little hero pieces. So yeah, this will be available in my Etsy shop. Okay, so that is officially all I have to show you. I have just one quick announcement to make. So I started an Amazon storefront and I know you're like Andy, but you're a big secondhand vintage advocate. And I am, but sometimes, you know, we have to buy from Amazon. It's just life, I have accepted it. And the reason I started the storefront was because I bought these sunglasses on vacation a few weeks ago and everyone lost their minds over them. I have never gotten so many DMs over a pair of sunglasses in my life. And so everyone was like, where can I buy them? And so I went on a, like a mission to figure out where you could buy them. And apparently they're available on Amazon. They're super cheap. They're like 15 bucks. So um, if you want them, they are now <laughs> linked in my new Amazon storefront, which is down below. I linked um, a few things that I use for my Etsy shop stuff that I use and equipment for YouTube. So there's a bunch of different stuff in there. I'll keep adding to it as I find stuff of quality or of interest that I feel like is worth buying new versus secondhand. So yeah, no pressure to buy. 
If you do, I'll get a little commission. Trust me, it's not something I'm gonna get rich on <laughs> at all because the commission is very small. Uh, but I wanted it to be helpful for you guys. So definitely, if you're interested in checking out my Amazon storefront, it'll be linked below. Okay, so that's all I have to show you. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for more thrifting and decorating content between my haul videos, make sure you check me out on TikTok and Instagram. Thanks again, and I can't wait to see you in my next thrifting and decorating video. Take care.